So you're building a tantalus 3D printer like me and you've got all these metal shafts and they're bullshit ones from China and they're all bent so what do you do? So the first thing I thought of was to um, go over to my drill press and stick a bearing in the vise there on the XY table and put the shaft in there and, and then just run a DTI on the side of it but there's just so much run out in the um, in the quill that I um, gave up on that idea. I, I just made them more bent. So I came up with this really cool uh, invention, and it just works really, really good. So I've just got a, a big piece of angle iron, nice solid, I think it's five millimeter thick, stuck at the vise here. Got some some skateboard wheels, and I've just f clamped them in using some good grips at an angle, put one bearing in each wheel and then just stuck a magnetic DTI on the back and then you can just come along here and, and turn the shaft and you can see the run out and it's nice and controlled, you've got you to make sure you get some tight skate bearings um, I've got like a big pile of them here and some of them are a bit loose, but I've found some really tight ones. And, and um, once you find the the low spot, you just get the the crowbar under there and just wrench it up with a bit of force and kind of hold it for the for the memory to get into the uh, metal. And um, it works great. I'm getting um, plus and minus 10 microns. Uh, looking at the display here, I'm getting plus and minus 10 microns without too much effort. It seems to be a lot harder to get more than that so that I think there's to do with bearings and dirt and I, I don't know but you know 10 microns is good enough. I mean when I started one of these shafts was out by a, by a whole um, half a millimeter. I guess it's 500 microns or something. So anyway um, here's a good little, little uh, cheat to straighten your, your shaft on a budget. Um, I hope it helps. Cheers.